All right, you guys, new week of dinner videos. So this one is going to start off really fun because it's our Halloween themed dinners. So tonight we are having the uh, raviolis that I get at Costco. It's the pumpkins and bats. Look how cute. So super cute. And then I have some meat sauce over here with some Italian sausage and just a jar of spaghetti sauce and a Caesar salad right there. But look how fun that is. Let me hold on. show you. Bats. Bats are my favorite. Ah, look how fun that guy is. So, all right, that's what we're eating tonight. All right, so tonight is hot dog mummies. You might be able to see it a little bit better from that angle. It's very simple. All you have to do is cook the hot dogs. Um, I just put them in the skillet and cook them up like that. And then you take some crescent rolls and you cut them into long slivers and you wrap them around the hot dogs and they look like little mummies. We have some tear tots with it, and just the sides over here, some grapes, and then just some onions, some chili and cheese, and ketchup and mustard, and that's what we're having tonight. All right, so tonight I made a spider taco ring. All it is is a taco ring with the crescent rolls and then the taco ground beef and some cheese. And then you take some crescent rolls and you shape them to be little spider legs. And then you fill the middle with some iceberg lettuce and then two little eyes that are um, olives. Okay, so happy Halloween. So tonight we made spider pizza, which as you can see, all it is is a pepperoni that you cut into long slivers and make it look like a bug and then some um, black olives that look like little bugs as well. I have another one over there. And then some grapes and some carrots and celery. All right, so tonight I made Mississippi roast. I do have a video on this recipe, which I will leave right there. It's like super simple. It takes about five seconds to throw together and it cooks in the crock pot all day, which is awesome. Under that I have some mashed potatoes that are my freezer mashed potatoes. So those cooked up real quick. And then some green beans, I get these at Costco. All right, so tonight we're having chili. Matt actually made this earlier in the week because uh, he took it to lunch a few times. So this is what's left. So I'm just heating it up. So super easy for me. And then over here I made some cornbread. All right, you guys, tonight, we are making some pizza. So I got, sorry, it's really loud. Uh, thin crust pizza from Walmart, the Great Value brand. So we're excited to try that. Also, we have some wings. This is the last that I have in the freezer. I get these at Costco. So I just toss them in some of the Great Value um, buffalo sauce, which always turns out really well. And as for some sides, we just have some grapes and some celery and carrots. All right, you guys, super easy dinner tonight. Just having some tacos, as you can see here. And I just wanna say, if you haven't switched to Great Value yet, you guys have to. These are just so awesome, these taco shells. Just such a quick, easy dinner with some Costco ground beef and some Great Value taco seasoning and just some toppings and dinner's ready. All right, so some chicken Alfredo over here and a Caesar salad. I also have some garlic bread in the oven, but that needs a few more minutes. But the Alfredo, it's super easy to make. I used to buy a jar, a jarred Alfredo sauce, but it, it is like the easiest sauce to make ever. It's just some Parmesan cheese and heavy cream with some like garlic and butter. You mix it all together, melt it down, add it to some noodles. And then I had some rotisserie chicken that was left over. I had it in the freezer. So I just thawed that, thawed that out and then added it all together. And then the salad, it's just some romaine lettuce with some Parmesan cheese and some dressing and some croutons. All right, so tonight we're having burrito bowls. You won't be able to tell, but at the very bottom, uh, I made some cilantro lime rice. That's kind of the base of it. And then over here is some barbacoa, which turned out really, really good. So, well, it's not barbacoa, I'm sorry. It's a copycat version of Chipotle's bar <laughs> barbacoa, um, but it tastes exactly the same. Also some pinto beans, just some cheese, some sour cream, and some uh, pico de gallo. All right, so tonight I was supposed to make chicken and dumplings, but I went to Costco today and they had some rotisserie chickens that were just coming out of the oven, so I had to buy those. So I decided to um, make that for, well, I, I bought the chicken, that's what we're having for dinner tonight. So there's just some chicken right there, but I did make the cranberry sauce. I found a recipe online, so I wanted to try that out. And then I got some of these croissant rolls from Costco and they're super big. So I ripped this one in half. And then I made some of this butter over here on the side. It's just some honey butter with a little bit of cinnamon. All right, so tonight we're having tater tot casserole. It definitely doesn't plate very well. In fact, this looks pretty awful, but it is really, really good. 
And what I like about this, it's like shepherd's pie, so everything's already in the casserole. Uh, you have your proteins, you have your dairy, you have the tater tots, so like your starches, and then you have your vegetables, which are kind of buried. See some corn right there, and some peas, and some carrots. So that is what we're eating tonight. All right, so it's Sunday dessert. So I made some brownies over here with some um, vanilla ice cream and just a little bit of hot fudge and then some whipped cream. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.